So, in this video, we're going to build a simple program. What the program will do, you will give it your date of birth and it will print how old you are. We're going to use some things like ifs and else. We're also going to see how to prompt the user to enter an input. The input the user will be entering is the user's data scanner in the Java documentation. So basically it says a simple text scanner which can pass primitive types and strings using regular expression. So for example, this code allows the user to read a number from system in. The system in is the think of it as the system input. So this initializes the scanner, but you have to import it from the utilda scanner. We also do the import. Then in i equals to sc is sc dot next in. So this takes an in. So we'll do a try and catch to see like if you enter a string, obviously it won't work because it needs an integer for your date of birth. Okay, so this is how it's going to go. First we'll initialize our variables, the variables we need. Then we'll prompt the user to enter the input using the scanner, which I'll import on top later on. And then I'll use the input that the user entered to calculate the age. Then I'll print the user. So let's go ahead and declare the variables we need. So what are some of the variables we need? One of them would be the integer age. Um, let's go on. Uh, let's just declare it. Let's not initialize it. We we'll need age. We we'll also need int year. Oh, let's call it date of birth. What else do we need? We just yeah. We just need the age and the date of birth. The age will be what the user enters. The date of birth will be what we'll print. Let's clean this up a bit. You can do this. Date of birth. It's the same thing, yeah. and now it's just one. So next, we're going to import the scanner. So we do it by import Java refutil dot scanner. That is it. Now we can use the scanner, but we also need to like initialize it as you saw in the beginning. So scanner, I'm going to scanner input equals a new scanner. New scanner, the system dot in. System dot in. So now we'll be able to ask the user to enter the user's age. So we, we print the message for the user to see it. So the user will know what to do. Set it at out of print, print line. enter your date of birth your date of birth is so simple so now so now we need the date of birth to get it from the user so date of birth equals to input dot next int um if you go to the documentation you see next in text an integer so now let's print this the print line so let's print the the date of birth that the user entered date of birth yeah let's start with this so if I run the program enter your date of birth let's say 2000 Cut. Uh. so we compile it manually yeah, let's see how uh, Java. And Java, how old? So enter your date of birth, 2000, and it prints 2000. To make sure it prints it, um, date of birth entered by user. So I compile again. And we run it again enter date of birth 2000 date of birth entered by user 2000 so now we are getting the date of birth from uh, we are getting the date of birth from the user using the scanner 
and then we are printing it but we don't want to print it we want to use the date of birth to calculate the age so next let's go and do that um but to do that we need to know the current year so let's add another int in current year equals to 2020 you can do it like this or since it's just an int I can bring the whole thing here yeah. so now the in current year is 2020 now we need to calculate the age but how do we calculate the age the age will be the current year minus the date of birth um, let me comment this so age equals to current year minus date of birth so now we're going to head and print the age so we'll have your age is h by the way this is just concatenation you're concatenating a string and an integer by using the plus if you come from like Python you use comma again compile it and run it enter your date of birth 2000 your age is 20 is that correct yeah but let's say a user comes date of birth and the user enters like 2021 the age is minus one and this is not correct because you can't enter a date of birth of the future unless you come from the past by a time machine so now what we're going to do we're going to use if and else statement so i will start I will, i'll start doing it here so if you have what we want to put then else so if date of birth that the user entered is greater than well, let's say greater than equals to the current year. Let's, not, let's just not use greater than. So your date of birth is greater than the current year. Oh, if it's equals to the current year. So system dot. Uh, I'm tired of writing this system dot uh, dot print line. What do we print? If the user's date of birth is greater, like here, if the user's age is we are in 2020 and the user's date of birth is 2021 minus 1 the program student run so let's say enter a date of birth less than the uh, less than uh, let's bring current year here yeah so else then you should do this So it takes the user input, the user's date of birth. Now it checks if the date of birth is greater than the current year. If it's greater than or oh, equals to the current year. Okay. Yeah. If it's greater than the current year, like we're in 2020, the current year here declared on top is 2020. If it's greater than 2020, like 2021, it shouldn't print your age. It should just tell you enter a date of birth less than, then it prints the current year. You can give it any current year you want. Another way to get the current year is by using this system, but we are not going to do that for this video. So else, if the date of birth is less than, then it does the calculation and prints the age. So let's compile and run that again. Yeah, see, how old are you? How about 2023? 20, enter a date of birth less than 2020. Okay, now let's enter a correct input. I was born in 2000, your age is 20. So the program is working now. So first we declared our variables that we will need. That's the age. That is what will be printed at the end. The date of birth, that's the what the user enters. We also have the current year, which is the current year, like 2020. Also we imported this kind of, which enabled us to, to ask the user, to take the user's input from the terminal. Then we use the prompt, enter your date of birth, then input.next prompts the user to enter the 
to give an input that goes so let's run through the program first we declared our variables and initialize one we needed the age that's the age that we are finding how old we also needed the date of birth that's the user's input like the date of birth like when were you born 19 this 19 that 2000 and this 2001 for example we also had the current year which is 2020 you can put this anything you want you could also get it from the system i can show you how if you want to so next we imported the scanner we needed the scanner so that we can ask the user for an input and the user would be able to enter the input which input was the user entering that's the date of birth and it's an integer so date of birth equals to input dot next int if it was a string it will be next line or something like that next double for a double you can look at the def documentation for the rest so here we did a condition we check whether the date of birth is less than the current year if the date of birth was greater than or equal to the current year we tell the user enter a date of birth less than the current year then the program stops now let's say you entered a date of birth which is less so the program runs and prints you your age example when you enter 2020 it tells you your age is 20 but when you enter like 2023 20, it tells you to enter a date of birth less than 20.